Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is the brand new setup, man. Uh, finally getting this room together. I uh, just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Uh, for all my subscribers, I really appreciate everything that you're doing, man. We're doing some really, really good stuff. The numbers are really excellent, and I appreciate it, man. Um, tonight is The Walking Dead. That's what we're here. We're here to talk about The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, man. Here are my predictions as far as the death list. I got Maggie and Glenn. Um, the reason why I put Maggie and Glenn on there, uh, Maggie... Ever since the death of uh, Beth, she just hasn't been the same, and she's almost taken a back seat as like a really, you know, backstory character. She's in the background. She's really not in the in the in the front lines. And she had an opportunity whenever Father Gabriel, you know, started snitching on the group, saying that they're part of the devil or part of Satan's minions or whatever. She could have said something, but she didn't, and she just sat there and started crying. And, and I think she deserves to die for that. Um, uh, for Glenn, I think Glenn's going to end up trying to save Maggie. And Maggie's going to be put into a situation or predicament um, that, that calls for Glenn to actually try to save her. And then she's going to end up dying. Glenn's going to break, uh, con uh, break loose and lose control. And then after that, his uh, actions will result in his death. Um, I chose Sasha just because Sasha's went off the deep end. And that hurts my soul because Sasha's one of my favorite characters along with Michonne and uh, obviously Rick Grimes. Um, I chose uh, Daryl, Gabriel, and uh, Tara. For Tara, you know, she's already, she's already, you know, dead pretty much, man. I don't, I don't see her coming back from that. If she does, um, she should have some sort of brain damage or something like that. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, with Daryl, this is, this is kind of tough for me because it seems as if Daryl is not the same character anymore. Um, I, I think it's because of everything that's happened to him and plus his background. Um, in, in order for him to survive and go forward, in order to become that, that, that fan favorite for me again... I would have to see something develop inside of his character in order to, you know, push him out in front ahead of Rick, for instance. You know, we've seen Rick go from very nice Rick all the way over to, like, Shane Rick, and we've seen him go to the Governor and, and all this other just crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, everything that we've seen Rick go through, it's made sense for his characters. The same thing with Carl. We've seen a lot of character development, and for Daryl, we just haven't seen enough, man. I don't know what they're going to do with him. If they're just going to let him hang around and just keep sulking and not wanting to take a shower and stuff like that, acting like a cat for some reason, I don't understand that, but he is. Um, for Father Gabriel, I think he, he just deserves to die because he's he's horrible, and he's, uh, he's he doesn't represent the, 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 uh, the cloth correctly at all. Um, he snitched on the group, and um, yeah, he just deserves to die because none of this stuff would have happened if Father Gabriel would have never opened his mouth. Um, now, who's going to survive tonight? I think Rick and Carl, Michonne, Carol, Rosita, Eugene, and Abraham. Now, with um, Rosita, Eugene, and Abraham, it's just because their characters are such are so brand new, and they haven't had an opportunity to actually do anything, um, you know, as far as showing us what they're ready for and what they're uh, willing to do for the show. So, you know, it needs to be a little bit of character development. Give Abraham and Rosita a little opportunity to kind of... Um, work on their relationship, give Rosita some more lines because she has been talking a little bit more, which is great because usually she doesn't say anything or they don't allow her to say anything. She just sits there and looks, you know, absolutely stunning. Um, for uh, Eugene, he did some heroic stuff with Tara, so I think that they're going to keep him around for a while. And plus, it's a little bit of a redemption story. Um, for Carl and uh, Rick, I don't think they're going to get rid of Rick Grimes. If they get rid of Rick Grimes, I think it'll be a bold move. I think the show does need to kill off one of their major characters, Daryl, uh, Carl, um, uh, Rick, those three characters, I, I think that they do need to probably die soon, within like the next two seasons. Um, I think it'll be fresh for the show. It'll give the characters an opportunity to um, display some emotions that they've never done before. It brings character development, character depth, and also just the storyline. We'll, we'll be able to change drastically. Maybe, you know, with um, the result of Rick's um, group's death, that the rest of the cast or, or the rest of the characters, they just split off and go into different directions or something like that. Um, I do see Aaron um, coming into the fold um, after whatever's going to happen tonight. I do believe that's going to happen uh, because he, I think he trusts them and then they're starting to like him a little bit more. Um, plus, Daryl, I think, is going to stick up for him also. Uh, other than that, man, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm excited. I really am excited. I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous as hell because I love The Walking Dead. I never miss a Sunday. Um, it's, it's, it's a religious experience. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh, yeah, thanks again for listening, watching, all that good stuff, man. I'll have a um, video showing you guys all this stuff, man. I'll give you a quick preview real quick, and then uh, I'll let you guys go. Here's what I got so far. That's going to be the Man of Steel, the Batman v Superman uh, side. And then we got the Man of Steel, all, all, you know, obviously in there. We have Smallville over here. Then after that, this is going to be pretty much like Marvel um, side over here. But DC Comics, man, obviously, they're taking up a majority of this stuff. 
and uh, there's a little bit more right there. And then the rest of the stuff, I just got to find a place for it, man. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but uh, we're almost done, man. Anyway, guys, we're out of here. Um, if you like the new setup, man, the new format, all that stuff, man, let me know. If anything you want to see change in the background or anything displayed in the background, let me know, and I can change it up a little bit. We're out of here, guys. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you watch The Walking Dead, man. Please use that hashtag, The Walking Dead Finale, right there.